Hello, I am Inez Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be reviewing the Flex Drop from Photoflex and this is actually a green screen so it's in this, uh, in this bag we have a green screen so it's a very compact bag so you can take it with you on the road it's actually a portable green screen so using a green screen can be a hassle if you have seen my other videos on green screens I will link them in the description below you can see that yeah setting up a green screen is a lot of work and if you're going on the road or you want to use a green screen outside you can't really use anything except for something very similar like this that I just showed you the cool thing about a green screen like this is like as you can see it's in a very compact bag but once you take it out it will flip open in an instant and you have a great green screen that you can use outdoors or here in my room for example I can't really set up a complete green screen studio so I use this green screen instead so I can just set it up very quickly so I can set it up very quickly another thing that I really like about green screens like these is that they don't have any wrinkles once they're set up so you just take it out it flips open there are no wrinkles at all if I would set up a green screen right here which would be bigger of course because you can set up a whole studio but it has a lot of wrinkles and I have to light it correctly and really take a lot of time to set it up this is just run and gun and just take it out film your shoot and yeah you're good to go actually so as long as there are no shadows on there it's not a problem so the only thing that can be a little bit of a pain is once you are done shooting and you want to put this away Yeah, the first time that you're going to use this green screen and you want to put it away even though if you have a video that explains it how you should actually uh, put it away um, yeah it's not gonna be easy well unless you're lucky but for us and for a lot of other people that I've seen online um, they're really having difficulties putting these away of course it's actually very simple once you get a hang of it you're putting this away in like seconds but like the first time you're struggling and you really can't find the right way of, of doing it but yeah checking out videos online and just trying to mess around like the first time I actually used it I could do it in a few seconds and then afterwards I didn't know how I put it away so I had to redo it and so yeah that can also be a lot of fun you know so that would definitely not be a reason not to buy one so if you're interested in a green screen and you want to use it in multiple purposes and you don't need it extremely big just for like one person to be uh, keyed out then I would definitely opt to use a green screen like these. Of course, it would only be for actors like uh, for the top part of their body, so you can't really uh, step onto something. Like on my other green screen, I can make an actor step on it, so uh, you have a green ground. Of course, if you want to do this with this green screen, you will have to rotoscope um, the feet out, of course. But for most situations, I just want to use it like for a matte painting and putting something in the background. And that's what I'm using this for and it's actually working very great. So that was my video on the flex drop green screen. Definitely check it out. The link will be in the description. Just look online for yourself. Do your own research and see what you can come up with. And if you have some interesting stories about green screens, do let me know them in the comments below. Also subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And if you aren't already, of course, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.